<laughs> she was singing the 1987 power ballad made famous in the film Dirty Dancing hours before the biggest overnight benefits cut in history. Almost six million people will be 20 pounds a week worse off. Is it fair to criticize her? Patrick? Well, I think we can see from that that lefties definitely have the best tunes. <laughs> uh, but no, it's not fair to criticize her whatsoever. Um, this is all predicated on hostility towards the conservatives and hostility towards what is really the withdrawal of emergency and emergency increase. If the Conservatives had never increased uh, by £20 a week at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, there would be no outcry now about uh, allegedly, you know, increasing poverty and, and doing something, uh, you know, nasty uh, and evil. She's fully entitled, uh, an elected uh, member of the government, to enjoy herself at party conference. And I oh, that's, just... that's all this is. This is her letting her hair down. Well, it is, but she's got a very unique position. She is massively responsible and six million low-income families are about to have this, this taken away. And I have heard enough people expressing fear, rage, upset, anxiety. And you've got to remember that 40% of these people are in working poverty. They have jobs as well, which is why I take umbrage with the whole chat about, oh, there's all these labour shortages. Go and be a fruit picker. Like... That doesn't work if you're caring for somebody. That doesn't work if you've got mental health issues. You know, that you can't tell people to go and do things. Then you're in a very dodgy ground. Mm. People have to have but choice. But on, on the other and hand... So Theresa Coffey leaping around is terrible, terrible optics. If I was her, genuinely, going to bed that night, I'd be really stressed. Say she genuinely believes that this is the right place mm. to take money from. And you're right, it was supposed to be temporary, but since then, we're seeing food prices go up, we're seeing gas mm. prices, we're going to be talking is, yeah, about it This is it about later. whether it's wrong for her go to up. have fun exactly. at Exactly, so I wouldn't... I know that I would be feeling really stressed and would worried you? about... Yeah, I would, actually. It's called empathy. And I, I would know that it wouldn't be it's, a good look. All right. it's Patrick, it shows a lack of optics. empathy. No, I just think it, it, it shows hostility to the government's project that you, you really, you want every minister to be in sackcloth no, and ashes not at and all. looking ashamed Absolutely of themselves. Absolutely not at all. It really isn't about that. It's about, look, there is so much upset about this cut, mm -hmm. OK? And I don't know why they've dug their heels in. I think it's a massive mistake. You know what? 600 people per day give up work to become carers. Mm. That saves the economy 132 billion. This is a terrible well, mistake. Yeah, I mean, when you say it saves the economy, if, if you're caring, you know, the person who, who would care for a sick wife, ideally, if, if he's around, would, would be the person's husband, surely. The default is not well, the state is, does uh, this it. This is the other mm. thing about this so-called social reform that's happening, and then Sajid Javid comes out and just goes, oh, yeah, you should start at home. It's like, but, oh, yeah, all right, auntie, take my but, appendix out. Is it not, Patrick, I mean, you've done, you know, uh, mm. press stuff, for years and years. Is it not one where if you were working with Therese Coffey, you'd say, look, I know yeah. you're having a good time. I, I know you've, maybe she's had a few. I don't know, nothing mm. wrong with that. You're having a good party. Just do one thing for me. Don't go on that stage and sing that song. I've because had that is an absolute life. disaster. Well, I think it's a disaster on taste grounds in terms of the music, but no, I think she's entirely entitled to do conference karaoke. But, and, right. And, and uh, your, your, your animosity is, is because you so profoundly disagree with the policy. But because there's a policy you disagree with can't mean that the elected government implementing that policy can't live a normal You're life. You're 100% right. I'm a feelings person. I feel mm. absolutely stressed and worried and concerned when I've heard enough really upset, risibly upset people going, I'm going to have to make a choice between heating or eating. I already don't eat three days a week so I can feed my kids. And I'm sorry, I think that takes precedence over her singing a stupid song. And I, I really think someone should have said, bad optics, tonight, love, stay away from there's, the mic. There's some sort of Michael Gove, Dawn Butler thing. I don't know what this is, but let's just have a look because this may, may help us understand. This is, oh, this is Gove at the conference. Somebody... I think went in and grabbed him and did a waltz. There we are. It's Tom, Tom Tugendhat. Oh, it's, to it's yeah. oh right, okay. It's it's him. He's been quite a critic of of the government, Tom Tugendhat. And then Dawn Butler as well. So then here we're at the Labour conference, and she organised a party. There we are. Mm. You know what? Labour had a party. The Conservatives had a party. Have right. a party. It's fine. Get drunk. Dance. She's the work and pension secretary. I see. I, I hear, I've had the time. I hear of my your pain. Life I hear your pain. Yeah. Night. Let's 